20 anglers. <laughs> 10 teams. Perfect, yeah. <laughs> two groups. Yeah, mate. Yeah. One target fish. That's a huge one. Unlimited ways to catch it. Yes. And one trophy. Yes. YPC Bass 2022 is brought to you by Hearty Rise, Redfin and LMAB. Hi everybody and welcome to the final episode from the first season of YPC Bass. Today we're going to find Europe's kings of black bass, the YouTube Predator Cup Bass Champions of 2022. The first half of the day was a very good one, or at least for three of the four teams. LMAB had a brilliant start, but Ilex and Mercury were able to fill their cards as well. Since LMAB and Ilex have both five fish over one kilo on their scoreboard, one thing is already totally clear. You're going to need five really big fish today to win this tournament. Mollex were not super successful during the morning hours. They caught one good topwater bass, but could not add more on the first spot. They just decided to make a long drive to a second spot, and maybe that was a good idea, since they managed to catch a fish there straight away. Let's see if they can get a bigger one soon. No, 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 that is, that is really bad. No. Oh. Anyway, it was all, all open, F me. Okay, but I didn't hook it. You think? Yeah. See? Yeah. You see? Yeah, but it's also not a big one. It's a keeper, but not a really big one. What? Why are there so many small fish now around? I don't know. Yeah, he's easily. There are too many small fish here. One, zero, three, five. One, zero? Oh, uh, so, sorry, it's sorry, it's sorry. He's bigger than the other. Zero, three, five. Ah. Was the same, but that but bite into me. Same, same place. Same. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Pretty sure. But I don't know why the giants are not around. Actually, we caught the, the, the good fish not in this uh, early morning. So. 0.5 kilos are not what Lucas and Paolo hoped for. They, of course, need bigger fish, but at least still seem optimistic to find them. Daniel and Enrico are leading at the moment, but firstly, they don't know the results, and secondly, they know you can never feel safe in this competition. The beginning, you also saw a lot of fish rising. Don't see that anymore. Um, but we're going to stick with the spot a while here. See if we can maybe find one or two more fish here. So, well, we really need to try and now basically upgrade. We've kind of got a target weight in our mind that we need to hit for today to be able to have any sort of a chance. Fish. Stay on, stay down, stay on, stay on. To the side, to the side, not up. Now, now, up, 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 up. Yes. Whew, yes, guys. This is an upgrade. 0 0.98. Yeah. 0 0.98. No, it's too small. I think it's too small. Still a beautiful fish. Really nice fish, and good that the fish are biting again. Sometimes exactly what Enrico says, you just need to slightly move around the spot. Cast it from the other side. Hit it just in a different way, from a different direction. Just not stay on the spot, move away from the spot, turn around the spot a little bit. Because uh, this is not only, I think this is not only affecting bass, um, in my experience, fish are moving uh, from the shallower parts to the deeper parts and also from the outside of the weeds to the inside of the weeds and I think that bass do the same. Well I'm not an expert in bass fishing but this is always what you have to do. Especially if you know it's an area which is really holding fish then 
Generally, they got to be around the spot somewhere. Good fish for LMAB, but no improvement. It's really about the big ones now. Mark, who seems to be well recovered from his injury, and his partner Mattia seem to have a solid plan for their next spot. So we just arrived to our new spot for today. That's the spot we got the three big fish in the, in the group. We, at the beginning it was a plan to really reserve this spot for the final, but we have to catch some in the group round, but there was a lot of big fish around. And we're really hoping to get uh, like two or three more big fish to increase our bag. That's the right place to do it. I hope they are there. I hope they are biting. And now the boring show will keep going on with throwing weightless worms on the grass. But if we get big fish, it won't be boring. Fish, big fish. Really big fish, man. Good start. <laughs> Good start. Keep it there. Wow, that's it's a big one. It's a big one. Yeah. It's a freaking giant. Oh, 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 oh. Honestly, my heart is racing. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's no. coming. No, 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 no. Wrong. Other side, other side, other side. Don't kill my line in the speakers. Oh, big one! Yay. Big one! Big one! Yeah! Talon down again. Oh. That's what we need. That's what That's we need. That's the kind of fish we need. First cast on the new spot. <laughs> so it's not boring. Wow, guys, look at this fish. I think that's close to two, to two kilograms. kilograms. We are almost there. Oh, with the belly. Hmm, we could make it. No. 191. Yeah. That's a beautiful fish. That's all we need. <laughs> that's what we need. That's all we need. Wow. Five of this. <laughs> <laughs> so let's release this beauty. Almost two kilogram fish. Bye bye. Whew. Boom. Awesome start into the last episode for Team Ilex. Mark can replace a 1.01 kilo fish and Ilex is leading the group by 500 grams now. What an exciting final. Ilex is on fire. Can Molix find a way to get back on track as well? It seems to be a big one. Yes, yes, yes. No! Oh, hell, that's not possible. How many bad luck you can get? F***ing hell. <sighs> what I do? That is now really, really bad. I hooked one of the big fish here and he come up and jump and I cannot be quick enough to put the rod down. And I lost him. And that is now really, really bad for the reason when you, this fish will never come back again, that's for sure, not today. And there are not that many big fish around here. You can hope that you catch two of them. But now we lost one. And that's so far really bad. Today is not our day, mate. No. While Lucas is fighting against his frustration, Tony and Christian are trying to upgrade their scorecard, which is already full, but still has a lot of room for improvement. Bite, 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 bite. Got it. Ah, small one. A very small one. Here I am. Okay. 29. It's a very close keeper. 
every gram counts. Scale is at zero, 350. Let's release this little guy. Let him swim. Bye, buddy. Can I sneak out the Senko while there's a bite? There's a bite. Peter? Got it. Oh, but I think it's also a little one. Yeah, it's a keeper. Yes, it's a safe keeper. You got a nut? Yes. Can you bring it here? Put down, put down. Yes. Okay, some grams. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, it's a pretty yellow one. Look at that. Nice color. Little fatty. Zero four one. No, zero four seven. Four seven? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good that you double checked. Little fatty, called on the Texas rig. And maybe he will send us his grandmother. Two small upgrades for Mercury. But Tony and Christian are very experienced in tournament fishing. They know that these kinds of fish will not have a real impact on the result for this final. I don't know. We, I, 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 not able to think too much now. But I think that we can go to Capo di Monte and try some casts there. Yeah, we're at a spot where we saw something there in the last days, but not so much time actually. And then we have to concentrate ourselves in the spot that we know with the spinnerbait and and stuff, and see if something will hunt. What the hell is that? I don't know. Looks like a bucket. Let's go there for the karma meat, trust me. Ah, baits, maybe he's from the guys. <laughs> Let's go there and give them. No problem, mate. You think? Yeah. We found some spicy and pretty stiff boilers. That probably are from the guys there. And we want to make a, make a good action and give it back to them. That's really shallow there, mate. I, 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 will, I will ask them and then they, they call. I will put it and they, they can uh, go out with their, their thing. And this is a good action to do. I know, I know for sure. I trust in you, mate, to spend the time for something like that. Ah, oh, that fish is so frustrating. It's in my mind like a... Yeah, me too. Like a nail in a piece of wood. Okay. I'm in it. You're right, dude. Karma point one. <laughs> okay, good action. Done. Now it's time for a super fish. And Hopefully that will help. Of but you're, you're right, it was the right decision to do that. It definitely was the right decision. It would be fair if they would get rewarded with some big fish for their efforts. There are definitely some hungry lunkers around. Since Topwater Laws bought the biggest fish for LMEB so far, Enrico decided to stick with his Yozuri pencil. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, it's a big one. It's a really big one. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes, 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 you're a legend. <laughs> yes. That's a big fish, guys. I see it coming, I see it coming, man. I, I, I just saw it coming and I, I accelerated my lure. I was like, tat, 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 tat. you see that? You see that? Oh. That's a huge fish. Whoa. That's a huge fish. <laughs> yes. Oh my. Man in Reese's. Oh my. Oh. My. We thought it, we thought it. We thought if a big a fish comes on top water, it's gonna be a good one. And Enrico's got the patience to keep fishing top water. Yes. <laughs> this is an upgrade. What is it? 1.74. <laughs> <laughs> Take your fish, my man. Ow. Take your fish. <laughs> du, 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 du. <laughs> yes! <laughs> the absolute beauty. Wow. Look at the size of this fatty. And you know what? I will 
Let it rain. Let it rain. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, what a fashion, Rico. Beautiful. I saw it coming. You know, I, I moved it and then you just saw it following. Was it on the same cast as where you got the bite? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, huh? No, it just, it just, it just raised and then I was like, and then it started following. And then I started accelerating like tick, 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 and then ah. <laughs> <laughs> How did it do it? Show me again. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! Happy times on LMAB's boat, a spectacular catch, and what they don't know, they are back at the top of the table. A 1.02 kilo bass gets replaced by this nice top water bass. 8.12 kilo is already a super strong result, but that doesn't mean anything for now. There is still plenty of time left. So guys, let me explain a little bit about this uh beautiful lure right here. This is a Yozuri Pencil 100, a top water lure. And what I like about it is that it's got a like a prism 3D effect uh, that when it turns a little bit, then you see inside there's a, there's a foil uh, reflecting the light. And this is pretty nice because when it, when it moves, walk the dog, then it always turns a little bit around. And uh, this is where the effect of the reflecting action comes. Also, this color here in particular is very natural so I think that these bass in these clear, clear waters right here um, they really like natural colors so what I'm basically trying to do is uh, to imitate the bait fish uh, that's called Lattarino and um, there are huge huge bait balls here um, we've passed a couple so far until we've been here and what I also like very much is that it's got really big eyes for me it's one of the key features that this lure has got and um, yeah plus it's it's got a, a really nice rattling action but there's only one metal ball inside so it's not rattling like uh, very like like let me say like a um, lipless crank or something like that it's only got one ball inside and every time it turns by walking the dog on the surface it's it's got like one particular click very nice, very versatile. You can fish it very slowly, but also very fast. And uh, yeah, this is my my lucky lure so far. And you can cast it really far, huh? Oh yeah, oh yeah. It seems that everything we 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 we, we, we tried, it's not working at all. And here is the place. There's no, normally there's a lot of wind, and there's no wind. <laughs> And the other side, we lost a, we lost a, a super good fish, and I don't know. It's really hard. It's, it seems that there's no fish around, but actually they are uh, also uh, biting the surface. And normally here we didn't saw that. So yeah, let's try again and again. So guys, we. Uh Change the spot right now, going to an area that we found yesterday in practice and yeah, maybe it paid off that we do not have fished that spot already. Let's take a look Christian. Yeah, let's go there and see. Yesterday we had a bite there, so hopefully there's still some fish around. If we can replace this in the end of the evening, it would be awesome. If not, still a very, very nice fish. And this one came on the spinner bait. Yeah, let's move on and try to catch another one. Thanks. Immer am Boot hier, der Weg. It is a big bass. Siehst du? It's a really big bass. It's a giant, man. It's a freaking giant! Yes! 
Man! Ooh. Spin up eight. Not a giant, but it's a good one. For That's the tournament, man. This is that one that we need. We put it in the mouth. Yes. 1.29 on the spinner bait. Actually, I did not feel the bite very well, but it felt like the leaves are not turning anymore. And it was very close to the boat. So thanks for the quick reaction. We put this one back and take another one, hopefully. Two fish in a row for Mercury, and especially the second one could become a really important fish. 1.29 added to the board. Tony and Christian are definitely in position. Team Mollix, on the other hand, have still not found their mojo. Even the karma points didn't help yet. We lose, for every ride we lose 10 minutes. For every ride that we, when we change the spot. But yeah, of course, it's not really effective here and also the feeling is not good for, for me and for, I think for you as well. So let's try that spot out there. Maybe it works. Here he comes. Like the the He's, He's right there. Yes. Yes. Oh yes. That's what I'm talking about on the last cast <laughs> of the spot. <laughs> this is a chunky guy. Who Enrico literally, literally said, "Okay, come last, last cast on the spot." Ah, could be. It's close. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Ah, oh, 1.20. <laughs> <laughs> Great, beautiful fish. Still beautiful fish. I mean, really, on the first days, we would have been like jumping in the air to catch a fish like this. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Beautiful fish, really. Such a nice color. Ah, oh, very nice. First world problems on LMAB's boats. 1.2 kilo, but no improvement. Standards are high these days. Mollix would need one of those badly. Yep. That's big? I don't think so, but I don't know. But he's a keeper. <sighs> step by step, but <laughs> it seems like we have our fourth keeper. And the new Molex Flippy Craw. Zero five one. So we've come to our new spot. It's actually the spot that we discovered at the end of our second day of qualifying, where we were kind of like just fishing around hoping to find something and I ended up spotting a few a few big stones. As you saw last time, there were definitely a few fish around here. We're hoping that there still are. Yeah, uh, fishing slows down a little bit right now, but we expect that, I think. And we uh, go now a little bit deeper. Also try to get a little bit more finesse with little one with some smaller lures. Christian already caught a little one. And uh, yeah, we still have some good time. We need at least three bigger ones. We got two fish over one kilo, but, oh, you kill your worm. This guy has power, right? <laughs> yeah, we simply just need three bigger fish over one kilo. So the afternoon is mostly the better time. What's our smallest fish now? We have the 800 grams no, as no, the no. second. It's the yes, smallest. It's 419, I think. We have to upgrade. Will this help? Sorry? Will I this one help? Yes, maybe. It looks bigger than I thought. I think yes. Five, four. Zero, five, four. I put it back. You report the fish and I get my worm. Where is it? 
Oh, over there. But this is now the smallest one we reported. No, 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 no. No, but on the on the on the board. On the board is this right now the smallest fish. Yeah. Mercury are keeping track of their weights, so it's correct that this is just a small upgrade. They need bigger fish to catch up with Elex and LMAB. Really tough going at the moment. Um, we were around an area where we're pretty sure there's some very big fish around. Um, we're pretty sure of it because we saw a couple of them actually jumping when we arrived at the spot. And it's really, yeah, I guess some of you know how it is. You see the fish jumping, you go towards the fish, cast around there, and then the fish are jumping exactly on the spot where you were before. Um, Enrico's, <laughs> Enrico's really sticking with his top water exactly because of that reason, because we've seen a couple of huge fish coming up. And in fact, he's actually had two really two, nice yeah. attacks. Um, one of them I actually saw as well. <laughs> it was a huge fish. So we're not getting many bites. Um, but to be honest, we don't really need many bites. We just need one or two big fish. One right one, yeah. And we just need the right bites now. Um, and so we're just going to carry on, carry on plugging away here. And hopefully, hopefully, we manage to tickle one more out. LMAB needs big bass to improve their board, while it looks like Ilex has found some. Ah, I think it was coming. God, that's a big fish, man. That's a big, big fish. Not sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is he going? Is he going? Is he going for it? Did he cross? He cross. Went to the right. Sometimes they are turning. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's turned. Do you see? He go yeah. back. He go back. He go back. Whew, they are around, huh? Man, this is so spooky today. I see you. I see you. Come on. There's a delicious flick shake. It's a good snack, even if you're not hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's full of big ones. Full of big fish. There's another one. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> they are so spooky. Mm -mm. So spooky. Totally, yeah. I think we were casting on so many fish. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Finally, what a relief. <sighs> wow. That's a good one. That's a, That's a good, good one. one. That's a good one. Guys, look at this fish. <laughs> he took the flick shake. <laughs> quite he, deep. He took it quite, quite deep. deep. <laughs> uh, look, it's already through. Okay, you get the scale ready and put it back in the water, yeah. just for a second. Scale ready. Okay. Yeah. Heavy, heavy. One, hey, three. Boom. Wow. One, eight, three. Now we're over eight kilo. I think so, yeah. Eight and a half. <laughs> Cool. God, what is your cool. day? <laughs> it's being your day. That's the fish we need to win. So let's release this one. Okay, let's report it and get another big one. Not sure if this fish is already enough to win, but it is definitely enough to get back to the first rank. Their worst fish is a 1.27 kilo bass now, so the room for improvement is getting smaller. Lucas and Paolo are consulting themselves what to do next. I think I still continue thinking that the best way is the, that big area with the weeds. Yeah. Because 
because it's, it's, in a big, it's a big area. So let's try maybe, I don't know. Okay, let's do it like this. Let's go there and let's using the power hour. Let's see what on the live mm -hmm. is going on and how and what the fish are reacting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let us go. Let us go with the power hour. What lies beneath can no longer hide. New Mega Imaging Plus uses high-frequency sonar to show you fish and structure up to 200 feet below your boat and 200 feet out to either side. No more secrets, no more guesswork, just a clearer picture of the world below, down to a fish's species and direction. Because more detail means more of this. Only from Humminbird. Welches Boot passt zu dir? Schauen, testen, kaufen. Komm jetzt an Bord, melde dich jetzt an und sichere dir deinen Termin. Info at boatcenter-b1.de Wir bauen dein Boot nach deinen Wünschen. Finally contact again after a long time. Unfortunately not the size we're looking for. Not going to be an upgrade. Tuck. Off he goes. Yeah, nice to have contact again, but yeah, at this stage of the game, we really need contact for something big. We just changed our spot again and we are back as you can recognize to the original spot, first spot we fished today. We hope we can find something else and there really is bait fish around and we saw some fish chasing in deep water. So we are getting close to a big patch of grass and hopefully we can get some good ones. So we decide now to use the power hour. We arrived again on the deeper weed areas. It's the only spot where we know it's large enough to find maybe the fish um, and to stay here for more hours. It's crazy, the fish are still hunting here. And we're using now the power hour for the reason that we want to uh, see how the fish react on the bait. So maybe that gives us the last information uh, what we have to change maybe to catch at least one solid fish, hopefully more than one. <laughs> Slowly, slowly, slowly. Oh, der geht aber ganz schön, ha? Ah, bis jetzt kommt er noch nicht. Be cool, just be cool. Yes, we need that one. Really good. Yes. Oh, spot change. Yes. Good spinner bait, my friend. Very good. Another good one. Exactly the size you need five of for a tournament. This was this will replace our 500 gram fish. Exactly, and it's a 1.3, 1 1.4, 1.37. Okay, that's exactly the size we need. Nice one. Great. Yes, yes, yes. 
we changed the spot, caught a good one. And also this is a spot that we didn't see any other boats on yet. So hopefully we can get one or more, one or two more decent fish from here and then we have to think what we do. Uh, if, if we can manage to get one more upgrade here. I think the smallest now is the 800 grams. 8.5, yes. So if we can get another kilo or kilo 0.5, something like that, we need to see what we do because then it would be good to have one or two kicker fish with 1.8 or two kilos even. Of course, this sounds ambitious and it is. But we need it because the other guys are surely catching them yeah. today. There's no doubt about it. Absolutely. It's not just us catching fish. Tony and Christian are guessing quite well. They have a great board so far, but as they expect, this will not be enough. Good for them that the next bite follows very soon. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Be a good one. Mm, I think not too big. Oh, it's a good one. For sure, look at that fish. You see it? Doesn't move. Oh, there's well, two behind him. Two behind him? Yes, yeah, but small ones. You have to get them. You are there, you are there, you are there. Give that yeah. one to me! Yes! Oh. Oh. Nice! This is what we wanted. Oh my god, look at that fish. What a beauty. Can it on get any better Just than one on the hook. top water? Just one hook in the mouth. Oh, this is so crazy. Okay. Maybe 1.2, 1.3. Very good. 1.3. 1.32. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Now we have all the fish over one kilo. Well done, mate. Well done. <sighs> oh, I lost my words. Oh, look at that fish. Yes. Yes. Oh, Christmas was so important. Good upgrade, really good upgrade. Okay, let's report this fish. Two big fish and Team Mercury are totally back in the game. Only 820 grams between rank one and rank three. It's a really close race for the title. Sweet. So now the smallest fish is 1.29. That's a solid bag, my friend. It's a very solid bag. It's actually the biggest bag I ever caught on this lake because I have no, no experience here, not at all. But uh, Christian, I think we're doing the right, the right thing. Yeah, it's a decent bag for the knowledge that we have. Yes, exactly, and for the practice that we have. Of course, I mean, I'm fishing here since 10 years, but as I said earlier, it's always different. I never fished here in a tournament. Sometimes on these outside edges there and sometimes more shallow. You have to find the fish and catch it. But this spot, this particular spot, we, I never fished before. It's crazy and it brings us so many good fish, even on the... There's one more. There's cast, one cast, more. cast. Yes, there's a good one, there's a good one, there's a good one. Right in front of the boat. What is it? What? Go, go, go. What is it? Just slowly, just slowly. Slowly, slowly, of course. Oh, oh God, and, and this, and this is big. Look at that. You, I get, oh my God, it's, okay. It's crazy now, it's crazy now. Dude, this one is a giant. Dude, this one is a freaking giant. Don't jump. And this one is a <laughs> Don't break my jacket, please. Is it possible? Is it possible? <laughs> what the f is going on? Ma, that's a really giant. It's not two kilo, but hey, dude, it's. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. That is something that only tournament angler can believe, I think. Catch a fish like this is for everyone a really, really nice feeling. I touched the, the bait and the bait... Yeah. It's the second best that we got. We I got think it's right. the best. No. <laughs> you, you're really good. One, eight, eight. Continue, mate, continue. Oh, no, take your, fi take oh, your yeah, fish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stay there. Ah, it was that close? Oh, God. Oh, I God. take the close-ups. It's Paolo's fish, but Paolo is so on fire, and when he can catch more than this, I'm super happy with the close-up. <laughs> While Mercury misses the big topwater bass, Mollix finally has some luck. They can fill the card, and they really seem to be on the fish now. <laughs> it's not a really big one, but it's upgrade 5-8. Huh. Yes. <laughs> In the grass. In the grass. Yeah. Better. Oh, out of the grass. <laughs> Better. <laughs> Since it's big. Oh. It's well hooked. Mm, yeah, it yeah. helps. It helps. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Ah. Wow. Well, yeah, that's a nice fish. That's a help. I yeah. think that really help us to gain more weight. One, five, two. Yeah. <laughs> so the smallest fish is one five one, one five two, something like this. No, one five one, I think. But anyway, now we check. <laughs> we are getting there. Yeah. We, we are, are getting, getting there. There. Cool. Let's release this beauty. Yeah. One five one. One five two. 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 Ilex's plan works out. They are able to upgrade their bag by another 250 grams. But this is not enough for a decision. Mercury and LMAB, who are back on their honey hole, are still way too close. So, we're back to where the magic happened this morning. This is our favorite spot. And this is where we're gonna spend probably the rest of the afternoon. We've got an hour and 20 minutes left to fish. And we know there's big fish here. You know there's big fish here, you've seen it. <laughs> and now we just need to get one more big one to bite. I'm so excited and so curious what the others have been catching. Yeah, I've been catching until now, so. And you can hear the thunder. So there is definitely a thunderstorm coming up. We, maybe we have to go off the water at some stage. Just gonna have to keep keep monitoring the situation. But if it gets too close, we'll definitely definitely leave the lake. It's not that bad. It's big? Yeah, I think it's a good fish. Yeah, it's definitely a good fish. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> How is that possible? That <laughs> freaky crawl. I love you. <laughs> I dropped it on. <laughs> and it don't reach the bottom. There is it, that little f Nice, good solid fish. Oh, now we are, we are stepping up in the, 
in the weights. Crazy, I don't expect that to be honest. Uh, 30 minutes before. <laughs> Scale is zero. So it's a one, two, six. Beautiful fish in the rain. Let this beauty go back in the water and catch some more. Now the color? Yeah. Pumpkin, green pepper, chartreuse stuff. Ah, small one. Okay guys, I think we leave. It looks not that good there. Uh, we have to leave the spot and go to the shore because especially on this conditions here, it's very dangerous uh, at Bolsena. We had a well-known angler. Thunderstorm came and uh, yeah, he was hit by a lightning and died on the water. And um, yeah, crazy story. Yeah, our friend Gianni Rizzo. Yeah. Rest in peace, buddy. Rest in peace, man. Oh no. Oh. Okay. That's not cool. To go back. Big one! Big one! That's a oh, oh yeah, he is. That's a good fish. Oh. No, it's stuck in the grass. Ah, better. <laughs> it means it's big. Yeah, but I don't like it if it's stuck in the grass. No, it's always a good sign. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. Don't rush it. Go for it. Wow! Oh, yeah! Yeah! That's a fish we needed. That's a two kilo. No, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Check this one. And the bad weather is here. Not? <laughs> 206! 206! Yeah! Woo! And the bad weather is here. Woo! <laughs> we need to go. I mean, it's raining. That just was a thunder, so I think we should go. <laughs> Woo! Bye bye, baby! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Incredible! Ilex needs a really big fish to improve their board, and they get it. 2.06 kilos, the heaviest bass of this tournament. Well saved for the finals. That's a big upgrade, and it's worth even more because just a minute after that fish, the final gets stopped. Due to the thunderstorm which seems to get closer, all anglers are called to come back into the harbour as soon as possible. At the moment, it's not clear if the finals are over or can be continued. All anglers and cameramen stay in the harbour to monitor the weather closely, together with the local experts and the organiser of the tournament. Bald werden wieder Ostereier gesucht und wer von euch richtig Glück hat, der findet ein Hecht und Barsch Osternest. Neun geile Produkte von acht richtig coolen Brands, ein Warenwert von ungefähr 80 Euro und das für schlappe 49,95. Wenn ihr eins haben wollt, seid schnell. Denn die Osternester sind natürlich stark limitiert. Was weg ist, ist weg. Ihr wisst Bescheid.
After one and a half hours of break, the weather is 100% safe again and the final day can get restarted. There's one hour and 15 minutes left for Mollix, Mercury and LMAB to catch two or three big fish and steal the trophy from Ilex. Okay guys, first I need to open the microphone, otherwise the camera guy will shout with me. <laughs> Uh, we have now exactly one hour to fish. We made it out after the storm and uh, of course we will switch on the live. Maybe it could help to catch one fish, we don't know. And uh, we have a pretty solid weight, but uh, it's Bozena. I mean, we really don't know what the other guys are doing. Maybe they are catching them big as well. So we try to increase a little bit and we try to get the 10 kilo back. We need, we need. that's our goal. So, yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for them. I will continue with the top water because that was really the one technique we get a lot of activity, a lot of bites on and the last two kilo fish as well. So I will continue and I think we'll straight go hmm, one hour with a top water. Maybe if there's a lot of fish on the on the live, maybe I will go with a weightless, but I think I'm gonna stick to the top water and try to get another two kilo. So guys, welcome back. We were out for longer than we thought. We were out for like an hour and a half. We had to wait for the storm to pass us. There's no lightning within an hour of the lake, so the organizers decided it's safe to go back out. It's still raining, and we've come to our spot where we started this morning. Enrizi, let's go. Let's go for it. Sometimes all it takes is a couple of minutes. We just returned to our spot. It's raining. It hurt a little bit in the face to get here, but we made it. We start again where we stopped. So one hour to give it all, and hopefully, get another good fish into the boat maybe two maybe two but let's try to get one let's go Tony let's go we are still on the deep weeds uh, I think the last uh, 30 minutes that we had before the, the break is coming um, we catch really well um, especially on that little guy the new Molex freaky crow freaky crow on a light Texas rig and we continue that and hopefully hopefully we catch two more fish over a kilo then we have an average over a kilo that's I think then we are back in the game um, but let's see I don't know if that will happen so on the live you can really see the big school of bait fish and the bass chasing them they go up they're going down <laughs> they don't having a good day not an easy day. <laughs> Not a good day to be a Laterino in Bolsena Lake. <laughs> Not a kilo, but... Not a kilo, but an upgrade. We have this beautiful fish. I don't know if it is more than the other, but let's see. 0, 65, yeah. We have a new keeper. Bye bye. 0, 65, uh, send a message. I will report it, yeah. Okay, mate. Now the life hour is over. We caught two cool fish on it in the lifetime. We're just discussing what we're gonna do next. It's now only 30 minutes left. We had one bite in the spot here and that's it. I had another one, yeah. So, hmm. eventually we're gonna check out another spot over there quickly and then come back. Or what do you say? Okay, then let's do this quickly. Let's try it. Let's check that spot. Yeah. And maybe we see some Top water activities. Yeah, that was also there. Should we go? What do you think? I don't know, here was really big fish around, huh? Let's try. <laughs> it's difficult to say, I mean, it can happen everywhere. <laughs> one five is the smallest. 
Mm -hmm. So we need a really big fish to improve. Yeah. You think well, we got a? I'm not sure with the deep water with a super big fish. Of course they are there, but here was so much big fish around. Yeah. Let's stay. 25 minutes left. Yep. Okay. We can stay. Ilex needs a big fish for a potential improvement. Same situation for LMAB, who still have the best chance to make a last-minute trophy steal. Better one? I don't know. I'm ready, I'm ready. Whenever you're there, I'm ready. Not too small. Yeah, I can see it. It's a good one. It's a good one. Get ready, get ready. Coming, it's coming. This way, this way, this way. Yes! Yes! What a fish! That has to be an upgrade. That has to be an upgrade. Yes, it's easy. On top water again, guys. The bigger fish are coming on the top water. <sighs> Come on, please. Get up there. Get up there! 1.58. Yes! Yes, man! Yeah. Beautiful. 1.58. 1.58. Yes! That's what it's all about. Yes! A big fish! <sighs> nice and easy. Oh, 1.58. <laughs> Let it! Let it! Let it <laughs> rain! <laughs> Beautiful fish, Enrico. Thanks, man. Keep it up. Keep it up. I will, I will. LMAB is still alive. Decent upgrade and still 30 minutes to go. Realistically, they still need two really good fish to win the YPC bass. That's far from impossible, especially since Daniel's rod is bending a few moments later. It's really crazy. The top water, the top water fish are definitely bigger. Ah, sweet. They don't bite so often, but when they bite, they're normally a nice fish. Oh, shit. a huge, huge bass following this weed here. A huge fish. Shit, I saw him. A huge fish. You have it. <laughs> you just wanted me to leave <laughs> to leave the the work in the dog. Your leg, your leg team. Big one again. I think we improve. Go to. No. 149. 149? Okay. So no improvement. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need fish like this today. And that means it's a good day. <laughs> Crazy, beautiful fish. So let's release this one. It's a really big fish. But it won't help us today. Ah, cool. Good one. Good one. No improvement for Mark and Mattia. That keeps the door open, especially for Daniel and Enrico. We've come to our absolute final spot now. We've got exactly 11 minutes left to fish. And we're hoping for one, one more biggie. One more ding. Last place. Unfortunately, we don't catch nothing more than a kilo now, till now. Just one little bit more keeper. Let's see.
Oh God, no way. No. Oh, yeah. Yes. Mate, no, no, no. Be careful, be careful, be careful, mate. Dude, be careful. You are joking, mate. Oh, it's a giant, it's a giant. Take the rod down if you don't jump. Yes. <laughs> you are the killer. Mate, I cannot believe. Never give up. Never give up. Don't believe it. Time is over? Yes. <laughs> but this is cool, right? It's cool, yeah, sure. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> oh, so cool. <laughs> to end the tournament like that is crazy. Scale is zeroed. Now I'm excited. He's a little fatty. And he's one, four, six. That's it. Molix gets a great fish within the last seconds, which brings it up to four well-filled bags, but only one champion of the YPC bass. Mark Pachowski and Matea De Santo for Team Ilex. 9.41 kilos on five fish, including the saltwater bonus, is a crazy good performance on this lake. Congratulations! Let's listen to the anglers and see their reactions when they get the results. Come here with the last say. I want to say goodbye. Yeah. Enjoy the show, guys. Of course. <laughs> goodbye, guys. That's a good end. So let's release it and see you when you are like four or five kilos. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, bass. <laughs> Mate. It was a pleasure, dude. Absolutely, for me the same. Now so, we deserve a beer. Absolutely. Of course. Let's pack all the stuff in the boat and make a last run to the harbor of Bolsena. Thanks to uh, my sponsor Molex and uh, thanks to Ecton Barsch to make something like this possible to bring the bass to Germany or bring the bass on the TV and on the computer to Germany. It's really, really nice. And yeah, I think those are the last words that we need. And so let's go before it gets dark. I think this was the last cast. Oh. <laughs> it is. Now you can buy it. <laughs> it's your moment. It's your moment. Okay, it's over. This is the hand. What a crazy day of fishing. Yeah, let me see. I think... We trained right. Yeah. I think we prepared right. Yep. I think we competed right. And I can say that if the one who wins is not us, chapeau. Chapeau. <laughs> That's right. But we had an awesome fishing. Today, 9.4, if I calculate right. Yeah. We had insane side fishing, even if they ignore our baits a lot. <laughs> We had crazy top water fishing and uh, yeah, we had a good time on the water. Oh, it was a great time. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mattia. Wow, this was the last cast. YouTube Predator Cup 2022 bass is officially over. I think we're quite happy about our day. What a day it was. I think we can be happy with the things that we've done today just let's see what the others got i am pretty sure that they are catching some good fish really some good fish yes but our average is good yes i'm curious to see who won yes me too yeah see you soon bye take care bye over and out team mercury let's call this one a wrap for this time yeah it was an amazing tournament we had so so much fun I'd like to take the opportunity quickly to thank my wife for letting me come here again. It's been a really a lot of weeks with a lot of tournaments and um, yeah, without the support at home, it's not possible to do it. Uh, congratulations to Enrico. Today is actually his wedding anniversary day. Oh, yeah. So a huge congrats actually to his wife. A thanks to her as well, because it's not easy. Yeah, it's not. Um, it's hard to be a fisherman. 
Yeah, especially a fisherman's wife, I think it's even, <laughs> it's even oh, yeah. harder. Um, thanks to all the organization. Thanks to the camera guys. Thanks to all of the competitors. It was so much fun. We had so much fun also in the evenings meeting everybody. Yeah. It was an amazing tournament. I really, really hope you guys all at home enjoyed it. I hope it was close. I hope we did well. We're going to see what happened really soon. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, of course, if you have anything to comment just below this video and all the other videos, just subscribe and do whatever you like to and click through all our library. And uh, we out for today, but not for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao, guys. Now let's go home and cross fingers. Boom. The last ride. So those were the finals. You guys know who won the YPC Bass, but now it's time to tell also the participants of the finals who can go home with this cup. On the fourth place, yeah, really good in the, in the group stage. Um, also today, uh, absolute acceptable result. Almost seven kilo, well fished. Congratulations, Molix. On the third place, we also have a really good result. Almost eight kilo, including uh, the 500 gram for the top water. Congratulations to Tony Weise and Christian Birat, Team Mercury. So now I would uh, like to uh, have you guys, you four guys, right next to me. We only have a bit light left so i will not make a huge speech one team had a full cut after i think not even one hour the other team caught the biggest fish of the tournament and also the second biggest fish of today so the winner of the youtube predator cup bass 2022 is alex ganky <laughs> congratulations guys <laughs> Well done, guys. Great <laughs> job today. <laughs>